What is aluminum anodizing? Aluminum anodizing is an electrochemical process that enhances the surface of aluminum by forming an oxide layer. This layer is known as an anodized layer. The aluminum material is immersed in an electrolytic bath and subjected to a controlled electrical current. During this process, the outer layer of the aluminum undergoes controlled oxidation. This interaction leads to the creation of a thickened layer of aluminum oxide on the metal's surface. This anodized layer exhibits exceptional corrosion resistance, insulating properties, and mechanical strength. Anodizing provides a range of benefits. It improves the corrosion resistance and durability of machined aluminum parts. Beyond its inherent advantages, anodizing offers another incredible benefit. It is capable of accepting a diverse range of vibrant colors. By altering the thickness of the anodized layer, engineers and designers can manipulate the wavelengths of light that are absorbed and reflected, yielding different colors. Now let's go deeper into anodized aluminum colors. The process hinges on the interplay between the thickness of the oxide layer and the introduction of dyes or pigments. The color anodizing process is a multifaceted combination of precise steps that result in a spectrum of anodized aluminum colors. Step 1. Cleaning the workpiece. The initial stage entails a thorough cleaning of the aluminum surface to eliminate oils and grease. This fosters the deposition of oxide ions and ensures a uniform oxide layer formation. Any moisture or impurities left on the surface can affect the final result. Step 2. Etching the workpiece. After cleaning, the workpiece is submerged in an etching solution to remove any natural oxides that have formed. This process eliminates impurities and prepares the surface for optimal oxide layer growth. Step 3. Anodizing the workpiece. With a clean surface, the aluminum piece is immersed in a sulfuric acid electrolytic solution. Electricity is passed through the solution, leading to the formation of an oxide layer on the workpiece. Gradually increasing the current intensity creates pores, allowing for color bonding and variation. The formation of air bubbles near the anode during this step signifies the successful formation of the oxide layer. If absent, it's essential to double-check connections and settings. Step 4. Adding Color After anodizing, color can be introduced through methods like immersion or electrolytic coloring. This is where the creative aspect comes into play, allowing for personalized and artistic expression. Step 5. Sealing Sealing marks a pivotal point in the process. It enhances the corrosion resistance of the anodic layer. Immersion in deionized water completes the hydration of the aluminum oxide, ensuring poor closure and overall durability. The quality of sealing is paramount. A well-sealed anodic layer translates to improved material properties and a longer-lasting, vibrant finish. With the intricacies of color anodizing aluminum now unveiled, let's move on to how to achieve the perfect anodized color match. When working with batch anodized parts, slight color variations can occur due to various factors. To ensure uniformity and consistency, it is important to pay attention to various critical factors throughout the anodizing process. The first factor to address is the dye used. Employing dye of the same quality and concentration across all parts guarantees a consistent color outcome. This fundamental step establishes the baseline for color harmony among different components. The choice of electrolyte also comes into play. Different electrolytes can lead to variations in color quality and coating thickness. Opting for the same electrolyte type and input current settings across all parts helps minimize color discrepancies. The duration of the process is another vital determinant in color matching. Anodizing parts for the same duration ensures the uniformity of color hue. Longer process durations result in more consistent coating thickness. This yields accurate and harmonious color shades. Precise regulation of the process duration is essential to achieve consistent color results. This step adds an element of control and predictability to the color anodizing process. Finally, Sealing holds significant importance. 
it is the final touch in the anodizing process. Using the same sealing solution across the anodized aluminum ensures the preservation of the colored layer. But what if, despite your best efforts, the achieved color doesn't align with your vision? Let's check how to remove the anodized color. One of the most common approaches to removing anodizing from aluminum involves using chemicals. Different types of anodizing call for different chemical solutions. For instance, sulfuric acid-based anodizing can be addressed using common household items like baking soda, vinegar, or lemon juice. On the other hand, chromic acid-based anodizing necessitates more potent substances such as phosphoric acid or a chromic acid solution. However, if the idea of using chemicals makes you uncomfortable, there's another option at your disposal, electrochemical etching. This alternative process employs electric current rather than chemicals to break down the oxide layer on the metal surface. Protective gear, proper ventilation, and strict adherence to safety protocols are important for anodized color removal. Removing anodized color also requires careful consideration. Therefore, seeking professional expertise when removing anodized color will help preserve the strength and structural integrity of the base material. Rapid Direct provides one-stop manufacturing solution to bring your idea into reality. Want to learn more? Head over to www.rapiddirect.com to uncover the transformative potential of our surface finishing options. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Rapid Direct for more insightful videos.